My name is Jim Rittering and I work for the National Center for Landscape Fire Analysis in the Frankie College of Forestry and Conservation at the University of Montana. <laughs> what brings us here is a continuing drone project that we have looking to develop fire specific applications for these unmanned aerial systems or vehicles, UAVs, primarily with an aim towards management implication, trying to develop applications to help managers better understand fire dynamics and help them to make better decisions with that knowledge. So the aircraft that we're flying are primarily commercial off-the-shelf quadcopters. We are developing some fixed wing with both vertical takeoff and traditional small launch fixed wing UAVs. But what we have here at Tall Timbers is all quadcopters. And they're all anywhere from DJI products to GoPro to things like that. We have done a little bit of customization on the Matrix, which is a DJI development platform, and we will continue to do some of that work. As far as sensors on the aircraft, we are flying both infrared cameras and traditional optical cameras. What we're using the IR cameras for is to support some of the fire lab fire behavior assessments. They have sensors on the ground and we're flying the infrared camera above it to get supplemental information on fire behavior. The optical systems we're using in two ways. One, as a mapping platform where we fly a series of photos over these existing plots and then you can use a, well you can use this software um, to develop 3D point clouds from those multiple photos and which include different locations and different angles. Uh, the other thing we're doing is also some high frame rate videography just to help understand fire behavior. We have flown these in the southeast in January in conjunction with an ongoing program where we bring students from the University of Montana down to Georgia to burn with the Nature Conservancy. We brought a number of these aircraft down with us to do very similar work just north of here with the Nature Conservancy, all in support of longleaf restoration. You know, the real value in this is just getting all of these people together and seeing what other folks are doing, meeting new people. For us at the university, meeting some of these researchers that are both in this region and from other regions that we don't typically interact with back home in Montana. You know, learning what they're doing, just being able to have conversations and see if there's points of potential collaboration, things like that. As far as the environment, you know, burning in the southeast is great because you get a lot of bang for your buck. In the West, the way fire is managed is it's a little bit different. You know, we do prescribed fire for sure, but the Southeast is really the hotbed for prescribed fire in the United States as far as I'm concerned. You just get more opportunities and more diversity of opportunity down here than you do at home typically.